Okay, this is going to be a brief demo of the Zogo Player and Zogo Manager apps from Zogo Decision Signage. Um, to begin with, we're here in Windows. Let's launch the Zogo Manager app. And we're going to log into an account that I've pre populated. And then we'll run through um, essentially the, the library playlists and how to add a player and use real time mode. Um, so we've logged in here, and you'll see the uh, the window on the left is going to give us quick access to all the different parts of the app. Um, so again, we've got the library where all of our assets live, our graphics and videos. Um, we've got our playlist that we make, the players that we add to our account, and then real-time mode. Um, if I click into the library here, we're going to see a list of, uh, there should be 14 uh, graphic assets in here. Um, that's because I'm using the, the free mode, actually. Um, here on this PC, so we're allowed a total of 15 media assets. So let's go ahead and upload a 15th one. I'm just going to click on Choose New Media Item. I have a remaining graphic on the desktop of this Windows machine. So we're going to go ahead and uh, it's going to pull through the, the name, uh, Pro <laughs> Protect Noggin in this case. Um, we're also going to issue a tag. And tags are something pretty cool. Um, you can use them for real-time mode. So if you had lots and lots and lots of assets, and you wanted to pull something up that's hidden in a playlist, which we'll get to, you could actually search it by the tag and it would pop up to the, the top of the window. Um, we'll get to that a little bit later, but here we've just uploaded this, uh, this graphic design asset. So if we scroll down to the bottom here, we will see the brand new one. This was a PNG file. So now it's in our content library. So now let's go ahead and create a playlist of assets that we want to uh, eventually display on the player that we're going to add. I've already got a few playlists created in this account. We're going to go ahead and make a new one. So we click plus new on the top right, uh, just like we did with the library. We're going to give it a name. I'll call this one demo. And now we just need to, uh, to click or touch, depending on your device, the assets that we want to add to the demo. Um, so we'll do the uh, best deals on two wheels. And we'll add a couple more assets here, Caffeine Du Jour, and let's pull through, uh, let's use the Protect Your Noggin one that we just uploaded. That's at the bottom here, so I'll click on that, and now I can schedule uh, these assets and decide how long I want them to play on screen. Um, so for instance, by default, we have everything scheduled to play all the time. Um, but you could cut certain things out of a playlist if you only wanted it to play certain days. Um, here we can select how long we want static images to play. So we'll do 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Uh, the last one, Protect Your Noggin, we're going to make hidden. So it won't actually play uh, during the normal playlist. You won't see it until you trigger it using real-time mode. Um, and that's a pretty cool feature. So we'll go into that in a moment, but first we need to add a player. So we've now got a playlist of assets. We don't have any, any media players. So I'm going to open up um, the Zogo Player app. Now typically this would be on a different PC that's connected to a TV, right? Um, but in this case I'm running them both in the same window, just for an example. So the first time you launch Zogo Player, or uh, when you plug in a Zogo Mini, which comes preloaded with it, you're going to see that, that uh, QR code and PIN code. Right, so the pin here is ADGJ. I'm going to go ahead and type that in and give my player a name. And this is what we call provisioning a player, which is kind of a fancy word just for um, adding a uh, the process of adding a player to your account. So we'll call it demo player, and we're going to assign that new demo playlist that we just made. We'll pick a time zone here. We're on East Coast time, so we'll scroll down. And then uh, just a couple features. Asset caching is turned on by default. That means all of your assets live on your hard drive so that even if you lose internet connectivity, they will keep playing. Um, there's play, uh, playback sync if you wanted to sync up the content that's playing on several different screens. Um, most people don't need that unless you have a whole bunch of screens running in one location. Um, we're just going to head and click Save. Now you'll see there's pending changes and I'm going to superimpose the Zogo Player here and you'll see the uh, the spinning circle means that Zogo Player is now downloading the playlist of assets off the internet 
So again, we're using rich native apps here for Windows, and uh, we will leverage the cloud in the back end to distribute these assets to our players. So let's go ahead and shrink the manager down so we have both of them, uh, both apps visible here in the screen. And now what you'll see is the player app, uh, as it finishes downloading these apps, it's just going to, um, or downloading the assets rather, it's just going to play the whatever graphics or videos I had loaded um, and sent to it in the cloud. Um, so you'll see it'll just continue playing there in the background. Um, now I think kind of a cool feature to show that's super unique to Zogo is our real-time mode. Um, so you saw when we were in the list of players, um, there was a big blue button for real-time mode. You can also access it this way via the side panel. But let's click that real-time button. And now what's going to happen is we're connecting to the device. This would be the media player. Um, through the cloud and now you can see in the Zogo manager here all of the assets that are on the hard drive of the media player So we've got the best deals on two wheels the caffeine du jour These are the two things that are actually playing in the playlist and then you remember we uploaded uh, protect your noggin But we made it hidden so it will only show up on the big screen on the media player when we go into real-time mode and click this button. Now this is a pretty cool feature because you might have you know looping attract videos that are playing all the time um, and then you can interrupt that in real-time by pulling out your phone, tablet, or PC going into real-time mode and then you could show uh, show your viewers other things so you know in a banking scenario for instance you might have looping attract videos playing and then you want to talk about mortgages with somebody so you could pull out real-time mode and put a graphic on screen that shows you know the latest interest rates um, you know maybe that talks about uh, paying down points um, you know homeowners insurance that sort of a thing so I'm just gonna log out of the Zogo manager here and you'll see that in the background um, the Zogo player is just gonna continue to run it's gonna flip between those two non hidden items and uh, the protect your noggin will only show up again when we um, when we tell it to via real-time mode